So hello and welcome back to the new video of the Postman tutorial series. So today in this video we will be seeing how we can add the header parameters in our Postman and what is the header parameters in Postman. So in our previous video we have seen uh, query parameters, we have seen uh, what, what is query parameters, how we can implement them and we have also seen one example using that one as well. So now today in this video we will be seeing uh, the header parameters in Postman. Okay, so the header parameters are the parameters which are included in the request header. Okay, and the ad, it, it is a kind of ad, additional information or the metadata that you send along with your request, whether it should be it is HTTP or HTTPS to the server. So there are key value pairs and separated by colon. Okay, so they are key value pairs and they are separated by the colons. All right. And uh, now uh, request headers can convey many things uh, for example they can convey a body of the request they can convey client making the request authorization connection management encoding all these types of examples uh, the headers can convey through uh, through your request okay so in this video we'll see one authorization uh, request that we will make to uh, to an uh, dummy api which is a bookstore api which is available in the swagger uh, as we have used this API in our previous video as well. Okay, and we will try to make the authorization authorization uh, header parameter uh, through our request. Okay, so I will go inside my postman quickly. Okay, so uh, you see uh, whenever you want uh, if you go here bookstore API uh, if you want to give <coughs> you see come here, you come here uh, inside the bookstore API and one post method is there bookstore uh, slash v1 slash books uh, what this uh, api uh, this is doing is it is getting uh, the user's details and the string as in para, uh, st st isbn string that represents the isbn number for that book and it is assigning that book to the user that user whose user id is that we are going to pass but one thing uh, this post request uh, requires the authorization token uh, to be uh, passed as a header parameter so we will pass our authorization token along with this post method so that uh, this isbn number get assigned to the user that we are trying to pass here okay so first of all uh, we do require uh, the user ids and all those things that for that reason uh, we, i will just go in my uh, postman i will and i will make one uh, get request uh, to the bookstore slash v1 slash books okay so if you go inside this okay so it is a get get request what what this request is uh, method is doing it is giving me the details about uh, the books okay so i will get uh, the details about the books over here you can see i have i, I have get the isbn numbers of different books the other title subtitle author okay so we do require this isbn number which which will be get assigned to the user for that i have i have made this get request you can you can also make this get request over here uh, and you, you don't need to pass anything since it is a get request you just go ahead and copy up this uh, endpoint here and you just hit send and this will give you the uh, details of the books that are there inside the uh, server okay so next up we uh, next up we want to create one user so that we can assign that book to that user right so to create an user again we come into the documentation of the bookstore api and uh, if you want to create an user uh, since we are creating a user that the, the, that the method should be post post request and along with that uh, the uh, the point and the end point that we are getting is uh, like you see you can see uh, if you go here and account v1 user okay so you go here account v1 user so it is a post method so this what this method is will do it will create a new user in 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 that on the server right so what it requires is username and password so you have to uh, get the pass the username and password so to create that user right so we will uh, paste that endpoint over here and we go inside body raw and select the json as the type and we will uh, pass this json object which is username as ran and password as anything that you can do but uh, one thing is your password should be uh, length of 8 or more and one uh, the one 
upper case letter uh, and numeric values should be there and one special character should be there so uh, remember that while creating the password for you okay so as soon as you uh, create this and hit send send you should get this uh, prompt saying that user user has been created uh, 200 201 created with the user id you will get and the username and the books so initially the books uh, array is empty you can see since we have not assigned any book to that user okay so now in order to assign a book to that user what we will be doing is we are going go, going to this post method uh, bookstore slash v1 slash books since it is a post request it, it it's accepting the user id uh, and the collections of isbn and isbn and the isbn string okay so as I told you, this requires the authorization token to be get passed uh, over the request. Okay, so now if I go ahead and go here, and I create, I will uh, get the URL over here, and I will since it is a post request, I I will switch that to the post and raw and JSON, and I will copy the entire path from here, and I will just paste it over here. Okay, and as soon as I hit send, I should get the error. Uh, saying 401 unauthorized uh, like you can see message user not authorized because these post method requires an authorization token to be passed so that the API can authenticate that user and then then and then only you can uh, assign this ISBN string to that particular user that you user whose user ID you are passing from here all right so to do that uh, you come over here okay so we will we will first generating the token for that user okay so how you can generate the token again we go into the documentation and we can see uh, one uh, method is there post method which is account slash v1 slash uh, generate token we will just click on it and since it is, since it is a post request post method uh, it should get this uh, parameters json object that needs to be passed with the request that is username and the password of that user okay so we will go inside our postman uh, we will set the method as post we will uh, again copy and paste that entire uh, url over here and we will come into raw and json and we will take the username and password as, as same as that we have created you uh, while we are creating the user we will copy that entire uh, object and uh, json object and paste it over here and i will, when i hit send it should give me the token expire <coughs> sorry guys status and result okay so you you get the token right so now you have to just come here and just copy this token hit control c the your token will be get copied now you now since you have the token you just need to pass that token uh, with the header parameters as an authorization token so that API can uh, author, uh, authenticate that user and assign that ISBN number to that user. So for that we will create again create a new uh, we will again create a new request. Okay, so we will go over here and just uh, come here and we will just copy this entire object from here and we will paste it over here inside the body raw JSON and with the post method we are passing this and and in the place of your user id or uh, what you will be pasting is you as we have seen when we are creating the user you go we got the user id for that user that we have created you will just copy that and paste it over here and for the isbn number uh, we have also called the get method through which we, we have got this many isbn numbers uh, so for this uh, i will just copy this one just come here and copy this and after copying this just paste that isbn number over here okay and after pasting this you uh, after pasting this now we have we have to pass the header parameter as a token okay so you come inside the header tab and since uh, this uh, you can see over here eight hidden if you click over here so these many uh, header parameters that our uh, our uh, our postman is passing to over the a, api uh, connection a accept accept encoding accept these are the default uh, header parameters that postman is postman is passing to through this api 
we don't uh, uh, require those we will just hide okay, you can see what are those by clicking on this button and now uh, we have to pass the authorization token so so the key for the authorization is the authorization you just come here and click on this you write au you you will get a prompt of authorization so you just click on that prompt and you just need to now what you have to do you have to paste the key that you have copied or the authorization token that you have copied from here you just paste that authorization token over here after pasting that authorization token you just need to add b e a r e r barrier and then one space and then your authorization token as it is that you have copied from here so what you have to do b e a r e r barrier and then one space and the authorization token that you have copied you have to uh, keep the value as it is uh, don't uh, don't uh, try it uh, don't forget to give the space after the barrier and authorization token and once you do that uh, you just now you are good to go for the uh, request to get sent okay so now if you hit send you can see a uh, uh, previous output we have a uh, one uh, get one isbn document now if i again send, hit send then it should give me isbn already present in the user collection because uh, i am sending this request twice uh, what i will be doing is uh, i will go here and i will give get one another a number isbn number so that i can show you uh, what will be the expected output i will just paste it over here and if i hit send now you can see uh, uh, since it is a different isbn number it should assign that isbn number to that user now it is also assigning the isbn number to the user now uh, if you go here and uh, yeah these are the books that uh, that are getting assigned to that user okay so if i hit send user it should say user exists that means this user has already there inside the server and it, it exists there Okay, so th this is how the header parameters are work and this is how we pass the authorization token to that uh, API as a header parameter, right? So I hope you got some idea. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.